Hi, uh, in this video I'll show you how to combine multiple worksheets together while retaining the worksheet title as a role or as a column. So what does that mean? Let's say that we have a short list here. I'll use this as a short example of this is something that you might do manually. We have this and maybe I want to put these two together. I want to make a make. Maybe I'll do a separate one here, right? I have a separate one here and I'll just copy all this. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And we'll put a make here. And all this will be Acura. Acura. Control Enter. That puts it all there. We'll go to the BMW one. Control A to select all. Control C to copy. Go back to sheet one. And Control V to paste. Let's take out that. Right click, delete. And all those, I'll, I'll just put the BMW here. And then use the fill handle, double click, and that brings it all down. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. That was about a minute's worth of work. But, close this. What if we had a bunch of these and we had to do that? And maybe this is something that is a, on a recurring basis. We have more than one worksheet and we had to do this. That would take a lot of time and it's really redundant. But there's Power Query to do this. So I'll close this or minimize this. I'm going to bring up a new worksheet and go to Data. And this is how we can combine all those together and have that column retained. Get Data from File, from Workbook. I'll just browse for the workbook. And here the Navigator window comes up and you can see it's got all the sheets here, right? And we don't want to bring in all the sheets one by one. We just want to select the folder. And then we can go to Transform Data just to check it out. You can see that it's brought in the name here. And each of these table entries for the respective name sheets are for the records. All I need to do is keep these. Press Shift, press Data, right click, remove other columns, and expand this. I will not use the original column name as a prefix. Click OK. Now we have our data. I'll just make the first row as a header and change this. That's going to be make. And we got a first name, last name, and email. But we're not done. There are still the headers from the other files, right? So if I go to BMW, just bypassed it there. If I go to BMW, you can see that first name, last name, email. So if, since I know they're all the same, I, just, I can take any one of these rows and just filter it out. And it'll do the same for the other ones. You can see that if I go to uh, Buick, it's got the same thing here, right? I'll just filter out email because E comes before F, first name and last name. So I'll just go and look for that. Let's see where we have email and we'll just filter email out, right? Take that out. It's going to take all the other rows that have email in there, which will be the last name, first name row, right? So you see it's gone here and it's gone everywhere else. Now all I need to do is just put it onto a new sheet, close and load, and it will load it on by default into a new worksheet. And there you've got your all your tables combined from each worksheet with the worksheet name as a column identifier. So we kept that. So this is how we do that. We've got our bunch of worksheets here with different names here. We want to combine the tables in each one of them together and keep that name of that worksheet in a separate column. And that's how we can do it with Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.